Hi everyone, so in this video I won't be doing a review, but what I will be telling you about is a tradition that goes a pretty long way back and it's the tradition of Salter Groups. So what a Salter Group basically is, is that you pray the Psalms in a specific way, so in this case it would be the Byzantine Psalter, so you've got divisions into 20 Chrysismata, which are groups of Psalms, and then you've got smaller groups in that called Stasis, and basically there are 20 Chrysismata in the Psalter altogether, so what you basically do is you grab 20 people and then it's basically an email thing to keep in contact so 20 emails and 20 email addresses basically and the Salter groups are done usually at the uh, during the two 40-day fast periods in the church. So you've got the Great Fast Lent, of course, and then the um, the Advent Fast. So it's either known as Philip Philipovka in the East or St. Martin's Lent in the West. So, and depending on which one you actually celebrate it starts on a different date so the west starts on november 12th so this uh saint martin's Le saint martin's lent is named for saint martin of uh, saint martin of tours and his feast is on november 11th so you start the day after so november uh november 12th and then saint philip's fast uh, the Filipovka, you start on November 16th, I believe, or actually on November 15th, when, oh yeah, November 15th, because, um, St. Philip's feast day is on November 14th, so, there's that, so, either your starting date is November 12th or 15th, depending on your feast so and what you basically do is from that starting point you assign everyone a charisma if you've got 20 people or if you have less than 20 just um see if that number is divisible by 20 and divide the portions up evenly other than the casismas, you've got is a casismata. Sorry, you have your standard beginning prayers. So usually your trisagion prayers, and then if your psalter that you're using has um has casisma prayers, and you add those at the end, and then. You basically use a spreadsheet to assign everyone a a charisma, and then you use you use a document to have the prayers at hand, or when you're sending out your first mass email explaining all this then you could actually paste it paste the prayers in there but I think a document with the prayers would be more convenient and you actually pray for every person by name so you've in that document where you assign everyone their casisma you um what was I about to say? Um, you put their names. So.
episode. And then you pray for everyone by name. And everyone has a different starting starting point. So, say I would do uh, the first and second charisma, and then another person does a certain force, and so on and so forth. Now, to some Psalter recommendations. So, as far as yeah. Byzantine Psalters go, um, everyone should be familiar with this. This is the Holy Transfiguration Monastery Psalter, the Boston Psalter. So, yeah, most or all, all most Orthodox churches use this, and there's a smaller green one which I don't have a copy of anymore. But it's basically the same thing as this, but you miss out on the nine odes and yeah. So this blue one is a good one. And it has nice large print as well. And then the other one that I have is the St. Ignatius Psalter, which I have been praying out of for the past night. So and the reason why I've been praying out of this one is because it's got a cell vigil on the first page. So, yeah. So, and I've also got a pocket psalter for prayer, but I let me see if I can find it. Here's a psalter for prayer pocket edition. So, this pocket edition has three ribbons, and then the thing that I want to show you is the contents. So, let me go to the beginning of another charisma so what you've got is your psalm and then you have after that stasis the second stasis in this one begins with a new drop cap so every psalm begins with a new drop cap as you can see so, and of course this is that diligent numbering, so, and then after your stasis you have your trapaya and prayers. Like that. So these are called Casisma prayers, and St. Ignatius has that, plus it has a lot more. So, I'll show you what St. Ignatius has, other than the Casisma prayers, which are set out like this. You have your actual consistent prayers, and then, yeah. You've got a section for using the Psalter, and then you've got... So you've got a section on using the Psalter. Then you've got your... Psalms assigned to services. I've done a whole review on this, but yeah. If you want to have a detailed look into this publication, I will link my review of it down below. But what I'm talking about in this video is 
salter groups. So if you have this, then it's convenient for a salter group because other than the portable size, you have Cathisma prayers and you have a lot more stuff. So those are the three salters that I have. So yes, yeah, thank you for listening to support me further. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and God bless. So if you want to, by the way, if you want to join my Salter group, please, um, if you're comfortable, please leave your email in the description or I could leave uh, in the comments or I could leave mine. If, if you are interested, um, please send me an email, um, express as an expression of interest. And then I will add you to our mailing list for the Salter group. So, yeah, thank you for listening. To support me further, please like, share, subscribe, comment, and God bless. Thank you.